Fine. Now let's move on to the hexagon. The hexagon is one of the important concept as well, which looks very very tough, but simple, very very simple. Now let's look at this figure. I can break a hexagon into six equal parts. That's the beauty of a uniform figure. Any number of cut, you'll get equal parts. Fine. So if I cut it like this again, we'll get equal parts. This side is equal to this side. If I cut it like this again, I'll get two equal parts. This side is equal to this side. Fine. Again, this I'm getting a rhombus here. So anything you can be make anything. This can be a parallelogram. You can whichever way you want to think it. Trust me, your life will become very very simple the moment we are breaking them into parts. All right. So let, let's look at the first question again. Please please pause the video and try to do it yourself. Now in this case, we are looking at the ratio of the area of this triangle ABC to that of the hexagon ABC. Can you try to draw yourself? Break the thing into parts. Now where to draw the parts? I don't know. You have to tell me. Can you draw like this? This is what half half, half half, half half. So everything is nothing but half. So what I did, I have to draw a line somewhere. So I am drawing like this. I can also draw like this. I can break them into equal parts. So then again, life will become simple. Now this out of this triangle, I am taking half part. Out of this triangle, I am taking half part. Out of this triangle, I am taking half part. This triangle half. This triangle half. This triangle half. So half of all the triangles is nothing but total ka half. So answer is one by two. Fine. So break, break them into parts. I'm giving you more than one way to solve every question to save your time. Sorry. Can you solve this question now? This is actual. This is a CAT 2003 question. In fact, so that's the actual question. Trust me. Ten second a job. Pause the video. Fine. Now this is uh, here. Triangle. So if you try to solve this question, all I have to do is I have to draw the center. Now this is my one part, one sixth. So I'm looking at half of one sixth. One by twelve. Done. If you look at the last question, I talked about the center. I'm breaking them into center. If I give this example again, I'm talking. I'm breaking everything from the center. So that's exactly that is the main point to cut everything from the center. So wherever you cut, first first thing you do is you have to break them into parts like this. That's all. Three lines and you're done. Fine. Next question. This is no doubt a very very difficult question. If I try to do by a traditional method. Fine. Can you try this question yourself? Again, shaded region, two equal parts. All I have to do is break like this. Fine. Total out of six triangles, I am using four triangles. If I take these six hexagonal triangles, six equilateral triangle, I am taking four out of them. I am using four of them. So my total value become already two by three. Four out of I have used four out of six. So two by three. Two by three is the total. Again, I've taken half of that, half of that. So I'm taking half of that. So everything left is nothing but half of two third, which is one by three. One by three of six hundred is how much? Two hundred. Done. Trust me. Trust me. Very very simple thing to understand. Now this is another brilliant question. Again, one of the cat questions. Please pause the video and try to do it yourself. Fine. Now, if I do do it by traditional method, if you look at the books and everything, you will see there's a total. It's a very simple question. Square minus circle area of the circle. I'll get the this shaded region number one. Then again, circle minus this inner inner uh, square. I'll get my shaded number two. So shaded number one plus shaded number two is my answer. So if I try to rotate this figure, if I try to redraw this figure, let the box and the circle inside remain same. Instead of drawing this, can I draw like this? All I'm doing is I'm merging them. So this is my shaded portion, but this shaded portion become here. So this question is nothing but the same question we did, 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 did earlier. I'm talking about this part. So what I'm doing is I'm combining both of them into one part. So if I move this, this total becomes same thing only. So I'm looking at this part of the total. So half, half ka one fourth, one fourth ka half, one by eight, one three, one by Eight. So whatever is the value, I need to find the area of the circle. So square side of square is 200. Total become 400. If side is 20, total will be what? 20 in 20. Area 40. 400. 400 ka 1 by 8. So 400 by 8, 50. Trust me. 10 second job. Here you have to solve the everything. Then you have to find the value of pi. Then pi 22 by 7 or 3.14, whichever way you want to calculate, and then you find the answer. Fine. Let's move to another cat question. This is another cat question. Now try to think about this. How you're gonna cut it? Now this is not a typical question. Trust me, it's a very very difficult question. <coughs> Sorry, if you understand. 
Now I know AC is equal to BD. AD is 15. Now we know this part is 15. And A is 9. And you're gone. How to find the area of the trapezium? Now using this, 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 I can find this value. Fine. Alright, agreed using my uh, Pythagoras triplet. But problem is how will you find this thing? That is a major chaos thing. Trust me, try to use. You will, you will then use x. This is, this is 9. This is 15. This have to be 12. So 3, 4, 5 is the Pythagoras triplet. 12. If this is x, so I have to make one quality equation which is make one equation which is in terms of x and 12. And taking this x and 9, I have to find this value. So this is how I have to solve. Yeah. So now let me look at, let me tell you the shortcut with the way I am going to solve, solve this question. Alright. So now let, let's look at this question. Can I break them into parts? Three part? Yes. Now can I move this part and bring it here? So this will look like this. So what I am doing is, I am breaking this thing up and bringing it in this side. So my this figure will look like a rectangle where this diagonal is nothing but this diagonal. The diagonal is given to you as 15. Your height is given to you as 9. This value have to be 16. So area of the tra tra trapezium is 9 into 16. That's all. Alright. That's it simple. So what, 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 what I am doing is, I am moving up everything into this side. Trust me, any difficult question you can solve within 10, 10, 20, 20 seconds the moment you will use this thing. So we talked, we talk, talked about the cut. We talked about the adjust which is exactly what I did here. Fine. So we talked about all these methods which are finding out the area of the triangle. Fine. Now all these shaded portion I want to try at home. Trust me, all these questions will be a 20, 20 second job. I won't solve it here. This is for my uh, student who joined us. Fine. So this again, any kind of a difficult. Now this is a level of CAD question which was there in 1990, in 2004, 2008. So you can expect this question again in the exam. So again, I want you to do this. Fine. Uh, try it yourself. Again, find the area of the bigger circle. Now no, nothing is given to you. Only thing you know is this chord is 4. That's all. Using this method, you have to solve everything. But one, one thing I'm sure of that Everything here is a uniform figure. The moment you know it's a uniform figure, you can solve the question. Again, same here. Everything is a uniform figure. So yes, answer can be done. All right. So I want you to try this question as home. So other shortcuts, the angulars. For all angle-based question, again, we have got short shortcuts. Any kind of a question, this kind of a question is a 30-second job. Again, this is the actual CAT question. Fine. Uh, trigonometry, any question of a trigonometry is 30-second job. Fine. Now, all this kind of a question, which sounds very, very cranky or very, very uh, uh, difficult, can be solved. Area based question, we just saw one thing. Now this is a wonderful question. If I cut the area into three equal cuts, so I'm getting four parts. Again, further make another cut like horizontal cut. Find the ratio of the area of this. Sorry, if I cut this triangle into this versus area of this particular thing. Trust me, it'll take you more than 20 minutes to solve this question by normal method. But with shortcut, it'll take you 5 to 10 seconds the job. Fine. So all the things we're going to talk about, coordinate geometry, again, the people are going to ignore this topic. But you can do within 10, 10 seconds. 20, 20 seconds to solve each and every question on coordinate geometry. Fine. Draw lines concept. Draw to scale concept. I'm not giving an example of these area volume questions. Other examples. All these things we're going to cover here in the workshop. This is just a sample video so just to make you enable. This is the kind of thing which I'm going to talk about once you join us. So you can join us in the classroom program or the online program. So th th this is our last year's result. We got 22, 21 uh, I am Ahmedabad converts from 32 students. So these are all the students who have joined us for the classroom or the online pro program. Fine. So we got and we got a very good a brilliant co conversion rate as well. Almost 75% is our co conversion rate for I am Ahmedabad. Find the other colleges as well. It's just a sample for the I am Ahmedabad I've given you. So you can join our G100 program, which will cover all the exams right from CAT, CMAT, Z. In fact, we are the only coaching institute who is providing the coaching for TIS and my CAT. Fine, including the GMAT as well. So all inclusive in the uh, in the classes. Fine. So you can, if you want to join us in the classroom program, you can go to our site cdtechnic.com. Online is mockengineering.info. And please call us on this number to know more about the details about how to join and everything. Fine. Everything will be taught on the phone. Fine. So all the best. Thank you.